Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market report. This morning is Tuesday, July 31st, 2018, the last trading day of July. Welcome. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. What we're looking at right here is a recent pullback. And again, it began upon a failure to hold above the 2830s. That's what we talked about late last week. We mentioned 2830 was the key there. Failing to hold that level or the 2829 quarter, the FOMC key level, would suggest a rotation back down toward 2790. Uh, and pretty much it's played out that way. And now we have to kind of, we're at a decision point in the chart. If we kind of back this up a little bit, again, I've been referencing this channel for a while. Uh, it's widely seen by the market, perhaps, because it's right there. It's <laughs> clear as day. And really, again, I'm, I'm usually much more comfortable with price seeing some sort of pullback of some degree, uh, a rejection down below of some degree before looking to buy. And so, again, we could have more downside selling pressure. Below 2790 could open up a move back down, and we could see a move perhaps as low as 2742, 2750. That could build out for a while, and then we could look at another move higher. We've seen that happen before, and then we saw a great release of energy. Now, we are in an upward trending market. We are in the bullish trigger zone. Typically, this would be a buy opportunity. The only problem is where we are in the chart, how long this move has happened to the upside. You know, we're in a part of the chart here that's been rejected time and time again. And if we cannot hold 2790 overall, that'd be a, a big deal. So keep an eye right here on 2820. Above that zone could lead to a retest of these highs. And if there's a rejection up here, say a failed new high or say a lower high, that might be all that's needed in order to get this thing going back downward. How far down you know, will be determined by the volatility at that time, but August tends to have a pretty high probability of having a pullback that is viable for a late year-end run. We'll talk more about that tomorrow in our monthly market outlook. Everyone is invited at 3.30 p.m. Central Time. Please join me at that time. I'll put out the link later on. So. Overall, keep an eye on uh, 2820. Below that level suggests a continuation downward until uh, we see what happens with 2790 overall. Above 2820 opens up a big retest above. And if there's a rejection, that could be significant. So uh, a couple of things to keep an eye on right now. Again, in the trigger zone, and this is an area where price will build up ahead of the next move. All right, taking a look at, uh, let's look at the NQ. All right, the NQ has had much more selling pressure overall. Uh, basically, this one has led the move lower. It started with a failed new high here, a failed new high there. Uh, price dropped straight below 72, 7300 rather, and dropped to 72. So it's been very aggressive and leading the way down. This one is getting to a point where it is close already to its lower boundary, actually right on it already. So. If you look at this compared to the ES, this one has already been much more aggressive to the downside. We could still see a little bit more weakness, uh, even into 7K, and that could still provide perhaps a buying opportunity for another rotation higher. Really, it's until price fails to hold 7K where this thing may see a move down towards 6,400 or so. But as long as price holds that zone, we have a, a range between 7K and 7,500 that is playable right now with an upward bias. Uh, down the road. So again, uh, pullback right now. We may see a little bit more weakness until we see significant rejection. Once we see significant rejection, then we may see a broader turnaround. As it is right now in the intraday time frame, there is absorption happening already. And uh, holding 71.90 would suggest that we could already see a bounce. Failing to hold 71.90 will open up another round of weakness. So that's the key level to watch on an intraday basis. All right, let's take a look at crude oil. Here's a look at crude oil. Basically, crude has been quietly trending higher. I have been waiting for this one to see expansion or movement. We had uh, the potential to see a major stop run below 67.50. Then we had the potential to see a major stop run above 69.50. And instead, we've kind of just done that. 
and so it's building additional energy just like it did last time here before it had to shake out and then go uh, again at some point it's either gonna have to shake out and drop and then go or we're gonna have to see a major stop run back up uh, if we do rally again I think we come right back to this previous month's close that's around 7420s or so uh, that's a, a great target to, to reach for the other one over here is if we were to break to the downside say we start to run stops uh, then we could easily retest lows or come close getting into 67s very quickly that day and perhaps you know maybe taking out the recent low and then seeing if we do it again I mean it could be very similar to what we've seen recently so overall this market continues to quietly move higher it's a currently uh, a very tight narrow range in the intraday time frame 69.60 to about 69.95 but again um, at some point here we could see a stop run start one way or another you know given the quiet upward trajectory it would not surprise me if we saw one big shakeout day first so again keeping an eye on crude oil as it continues to develop now taking a look at gold futures very similar been watching this one as well as it continues to compress we have FOMC and uh, the Fed interest rate decision tomorrow Wednesday the market likely coiling up ahead of that event as well so right now a lot of compression and soon we could be looking at some significant movement down the road again if this thing were to say break downward first below multi-day lows and then close back above them that would be a major indication of a uh, stop run ahead back above 1250 1255 and higher if say price were to do the other thing price were to rally above 1240 and then close back below it given the downtrending market that would be a major indication that stops are about to come out so again that's something to watch out for as we head into the FOMC date tomorrow uh, lastly looking at Bitcoin you can see here this one's gone sideways as well from the very first Bitcoin uh, FOMC key level which was last December 13th it, it was clear that Bitcoin honored the FOMC key levels as well right now after the recent squeeze we're going sideways could be ahead of that event as well uh, we still have an upward bias failure to hold 78s may o open up more of a rotation downward but anything shy of dropping below 6700 could still be a buying opportunity For, preferably price would stay you know above 7k into the LVN if it were to pull back at the lowest but uh, overall this thing continues to trend up right now and uh, we'll see if it has one more leg higher we're at value and so again we could continue to chop heading into the FOMC meeting tomorrow alright that is it for now let's see how this plays out heading into the rest of the session good luck and trade well